Hello. So, I guess this is kind of like part four or part five of my boyfriend problems. Um, so, I did finally get a word back from Travis. And basically, he's mad at me because. I fell asleep and he he lost out time on hanging out with his buddies basically what he told me was let me see where he is he said it's because I wanted to either play Eve with Zach or go to my cousins and hang out with him staying in for the night that is why he was pissed off at me because he lost, he wanted to do what he wanted to do. He wanted to go hang out with his friends or cousins and stay in instead of going to the movies with me. And the thing is, him and I had planned to go see Now You See Me for like a week or so. Because it's something that I wanted to do. And he already saw Iron Man 3 and Man of Steel without me. And I wanted to go see a movie with him. So him and I planned to go see Now You See Me. Because it's a movie neither him or I has saw. And I thought it would be good to see something I wanted to see for a change. Or do something I wanted to do for a change. But instead, I fell asleep. So because I fell asleep, he could have been out hanging out with his cousins or hanging out with his friend Zach instead of waiting on me. And I apologize. I mean, I apologize for falling asleep because I had I had nagged and said I wanted to go and see the movies, even though I wanted to go at an earlier time. Like I had said, mainly for the fact that I could feel myself getting drowsy, but I had wanted to go at an earlier time, but agreed to let him do what he wanted to do and we can go at a later time. And so that is his main reason for being pissed off because... He didn't get to hang out. He didn't get to just stay in and chill. And he chose me over his friends. And I should have just acted mature and not got angry with him. But the thing is, if he had never gotten angry at me to begin with for the fact of me falling asleep and him losing out chill time with his friends, I wouldn't have raged at him to begin with. I wouldn't have, because what made me mad was the fact that when I did call him and I told him I had fell asleep and I'm sorry that I fell asleep and him and I were talking about what we wanted to do and I was just like, well, if you can figure out what to do, let me know. And then he hung up the phone on me. And when I tried to call him back, he sent me straight to voicemail. And then when I messaged him on Facebook, he ignored my messages. And that's why I raged at him when him and I didn't meet up and we did hang out because he made me feel like crap, like it was like, I shouldn't fall asleep. Like, Amaya, how dare you fall asleep on me? Like, seriously, I'm a human being. I I was emotionally exhausted from school, family problems, work. Of course, I was going to fall asleep. I mean, he he used to fall asleep on me all the time. And I, and yes, I'll admit, for, I used to get really, really angry at him for it. And But then him and I talked, and... I got over it because he was working two jobs, so he was going to have a stressful life and stuff like that. But I don't think it's fair that he's mad, he got mad at me for the fact of me falling asleep. I think that's so immature. And then I tried to tell him we should admit that it was 50-50 because it was kind of both our thoughts that this whole thing went out of proportion. And his reply was, well, I had said... Because I had said that he's turning it around and making it all my fault that it's my fault that everything went this way. And I said, I think we should just forget the whole thing and just admit that it was 50-50 on both of us. And his reply was, no, it wasn't. There is no 50-50 on this shit. And stop being so afraid of having done something bad. And I'm just like, I didn't do anything bad to start with. I accidentally fell asleep. How is that my fault? It was an accident. Like, seriously. 
and I'm supposed to accept the fact that you're going to hang up the phone on me and make me feel like fucking crap because I fell asleep and you didn't get to hang out with your bros and stuff like that even though we had planned to go to the movies and then you want to turn and say I'm immature how the hell am I immature when I'm the one apologizing and telling you I am sorry for falling asleep and then you still want me to say this whole entire thing was my fault if you had been mature enough like you want me to be you should have gotten mad at me and hung up the phone and we could have figured out what to do and I admit that I should not have raged at you when I got into the car and I should have talked to him instead of well not even tried to talk to him I should have just put it on the back burner been like okay I will ignore it I will let it go because he was mad and he probably did want to go hang out with his friends and I'll ignore it and we'll just go hang out and have a good time because we did plan for this day and then later when we had fun and probably got some alcohol in us maybe bring it up again and be like so are you good about the whole issue back then or are you still going to hold that against me because I don't think you should hold it against me it was a slip up on my part we got to hang out anyway and he could hang out with his cousin and Zach anytime he wants to because he has until July 9th before he goes off to boot camp. And he can hang out with them anytime. And I don't get to hardly hang out with each other because I live at home with my mom now and he lives with his parents as well. And we and we both have to move out of the apartment because he wanted it. I didn't want to move out, but he was tired of taking care of two adults. He was taking care of me and our roommate decided not to pay his half of the rent. So he decided, well, I'm gonna back out and I'm leaving. And I couldn't afford the, I didn't want to stay in the apartment with that roommate. He was an alcoholic drunk. Well, not an alcoholic. He was an alcoholic, I shouldn't have said drunk. He was an alcoholic. And I did not want to stay in the apartment with him. So of course I left too and I had to move back with my family. And now there's a drama with my family because my family thinks I'm juvenile and immature and stuff like that. I mean, I admit I do have my moments, but this whole situation, I just wish he would man up like he wants me to woman up and admit that he shouldn't have gotten mad at me for falling asleep. That was stupid. Like, seriously. If he hadn't hung up the phone on me and then ignored my messages and ignored my phone call, I wouldn't have gotten mad. I would have let it go and not even have bothered. But no, he had to get mad. And now he's thinking about not wanting to be in a relationship anymore because of that whole thing. And I'm just like, are you fucking retarded? Are you seriously that fucking retarded? I fell asleep. Who the fuck cares? Ugh. Sorry, I'm also mentioning one of my friends about it because personally, thing is ridiculous. Like, I'm like, my temper right now is like here. Like, I'm like really, really, really agitated that he got Miss pissed off about the whole thing. It's just like, where the, ah, uh, and the fact that he's trying to make me feel so bad about it is getting to me. Like, I was happy he finally messaged back, but the whole, ugh. Like, I believe that couples should admit their faults, and I admit mine. I admit that I should not have raged at him when I got in the car, and that I should have just left it on the back door. But he won't admit that he shouldn't have gotten pissed off about me falling asleep and losing time with his friends. He had any time, he had plenty of time to go hang out with his friends or his cousin or whatever. There was no need for him to get mad at me. And that's what's pissing me off is he's making me 
admit that I was at fault, but he won't admit that he was at fault. He thinks it was all on me. And I'm just like, it wasn't all my fault because I wouldn't have raged if you wouldn't have hung up the phone on me. And when I tried to call back because I thought you made the connection have dropped, you send it straight to voicemail and they ignore my message on Facebook. And then let me sit there for about 10, 15 minutes crying to one of my best friends and then demand me to get ready and come outside, come and hang out with you. And then you expect me to get over it just like that. I mean, that doesn't work. And then I guess he wants me to admit for being wrong about falling asleep. I'm a, I'm a human. If you did not know, I'm human. We fall asleep sometime when we're seriously exhausted, whether physically or mentally. We, we do do that. I don't know if you knew that, but we do. And it's just... Uh, sometimes I just want to bash guys upside their head. It's just like... What what the hell? Why do you have to make us females feel like complete crap? And I'm not saying it's all guys. It's just a lot of guys do it. That make a lot of us females feel like complete crap. And it's pissing me off. Because I do not deserve it. I do not. And a part of me wants to be like, well, you know what, Travis? If you're not even going to admit your faults or even acknowledge how I feel about the whole situation then this relationship is not going to work because I'm not going to be in a relationship where the guy's going to make me feel like crap for every stupid little thing I do because me falling asleep was an accident and you just have to get over it All right, that's just something you really have to get over it and ooh, I'm so pissed I want him. and then he won't talk back anymore because he's, he says I still don't understand how he feels Yes, I do understand. You're mad because I fell asleep and you lost all time to hang out with your friends. How can I not understand that? I understand it perfectly clear the first time you told it to me. I'm sorry I fell asleep and you lost out on bro time with your friends. But we had planned for the movies for a while. That is something you just have to get over. And it just ugh, pisses me off. I think my blister is back on my foot. It just makes me want to rage more than ever. Sometimes I kind of feel like I shouldn't have broken up with my ex-boyfriend, Robert, because he probably wouldn't have gotten mad at me for stuff like this. He'd probably been like, okay, I understand. You have school. Your family's stressing you out, and every other little thing is just stressing you out. So I understand why you, you fell asleep. And... Well, ask Tat, Travis still won't turn the phone back on. And that's what pisses me off the most, is that he used his whole entire thing and cut my phone off and still wants to say I'm immature. And if I'm wrong, somebody please tell me. Write me a comment and tell me, Amon, you are so wrong. You should admit that you were the whole entire situation was 100% your fault and Travis deserves better. And then I'll admit, okay. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. I should not have fallen asleep and I should have been awake so Travis and I could have gone to the movies. Or I should have just messaged Travis and be like, hey, I'm sorry I fell asleep. Go ahead and hang out with your bros or do whatever you want. We can hang out another time. I'll admit, I'll, if somebody, well, if 10 people say I'm wrong, then I'll admit it. But I personally don't think I was in the wrong. I, the only thing I think I was in the wrong for was raging at him. But other than that, no. <laughs> but. I don't know. The whole thing pisses me off, guys.
Do really don't. I'm trying not to let it get to me and stuff like that, but it's hard when the guy you give your heart to basically tells you it's your whole entire fault that he's mad and he has nobody else to blame. But he does. He can blame himself because he shouldn't have raised he shouldn't have hung up the phone at me and acted pissed off because I fell asleep. He shouldn't. That was immature. Um it was very immature. And he won't admit it. It's that Gemini in him. No, no, it's like my mom said. It's his ego. He has a really, really big ego. And he doesn't like to admit that he sometimes is wrong. I should have realized it, that my mom is right, that he's, he does have a big ego. And I've never seen it before until just now. Until, yeah, I've never seen how big his ego was until just now. Because he won't admit he's wrong right now. Hopefully, I can get him to turn my phone back on. And if not, tomorrow, when I get my check, I should buy me a new phone. Well, get me a prepaid phone and probably cut him off. <sighs> so, but I'm hoping that eventually he'll learn to grow up and realize that the whole situation was 50 50 and that we can move on from it and either. A, try to continue working as a couple, or B, realize, this is stupid, neither of us are ever going to work out, we just might want to cut our loss and head different ways. And it would be a shame because, again, there is a chance I might be pregnant with this child. Because I know for a fact it would be his because he's the only one I've had sex with. Because my period is two weeks late and I've been having slight nausea. So, and another thing, I did take a pregnancy test, but it was um, a dollar store one, and I, I think they're kind of cheap. I don't know if they really work or if they have good results, but yeah. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that this whole thing will eventually blow over and he eventually will talk again. Um, I'm about to go hang out with my friend again. Yes, I am going to hang out with Austin because he's like the only one that is willing to hang out with me at 12.47 at night. While well, none of my other friends want to help make me feel better. Which is a damn shame that I have no social life. But talking on the internet and making vlogs about how terrible my relationship with, is with my boyfriend. No, it's not all that terrible. It's just we argue over stupid stuff that we can easily get over, but then we like to make make the situation worse instead of just being like, okay, yeah. And see, I'm trying to be the bigger person. I'm trying to be like, okay, you're right, you're right. But I don't like taking complete fault. That's why I told him it's 50-50 because I, I don't I know for a fact that it was 50-50, and I'm not going to take full blame for it. But he won't. He won't take not even 50-50. I bet he won't even take, uh, I forget, 75-25? <laughs> I'm so terrible with that. But yeah, he won't admit it. I mean, I'm gonna tr I, I do want to try it with him because I know for a fact that I love him. But... So stupid.
but yeah, I'm, I'm about to get dressed so I can hang out with my friend and hopefully just let this whole situation blow over it and hopefully I get to talk to him tomorrow, Travis. And hopefully him and I can figure things out. And if he, him and I don't figure things out by Tuesday, I probably will just send him one final message and be like, alright, if you don't want to try to cooperate and work this situation like adults should, then I'm going to have to cut, cut the strings because I am not a child. I will not be treated like a child. And I will not let you hold things over my head like I am some sort of child. I am 22 years old. I think you're 26. You need to start acting like you're an adult. Like seriously, especially you're you're about to go into the military. I know it's just the Air Force, but they still will eat you alive. Especially with that big freaking ego you have. Like seriously, they will eat you alive. But I will, I'll give it until Tuesday. And if he doesn't reply, if he doesn't say anything or turn my phone back on or anything, I will just send him one message and then remove him and block him and never speak to him again. And I'll, I'll probably won't block him, but I'll remove him as a friend. Maybe message him after a few months to make sure he's okay after the boot camp. But other than that, probably not. Anyway, I'm gonna go get dressed. Bye, guys.